Okay, so I finally decided to do a quick walkthrough of my horror movie collection. Obviously, horror movies have always been my main passion. That's really what got me into everything. Uh, growing up in the, in the 80s, early 90s, um, wouldn't have led... This This wouldn't be here without that. So uh, there's, there's a lot of backstory. I'm not going to go too much into it, but there's going to be a little bit. And uh, I, I hope there's some stories in there and maybe some movies that you guys remember growing up. Or maybe... Maybe some new ones that you guys can form on your own. Uh, any questions, comments, leave them down below. Um, I hope there's some new movies you guys might find, or maybe some memories that can be reopened again. So, thank you. Uh, once again, for checking out my collection, for checking out my videos, and uh, for wasting your time with me. I, I appreciate it. Thank you. Alright, so honestly, I, I don't even know how to begin this video. I don't even know what kind of format or um, how I'm supposed to just go through everything. Um, as you can see, there's 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 a bunch of VHS, there's a bunch of DVDs, Blu-rays, etc. Um, initially, when I started buying horror movies about 28 years ago, everything was on VHS. Uh, DVDs didn't exist. Um, rental stores were the thing. We We went to a store... Uh, the internet wasn't what it is now, if it even existed at all. We would literally um, pick up a box, look at the back, um, read, a, read a description, look at the cover art, and then choose our Friday and Saturday night movies based just on that alone. Even to, even to jump back before that, um, a hair, I'm sorry. Uh, the reason I initially started collecting horror movies and where my obsession did start was was my sister Jen and I uh, would go downtown to uh, rent these to uh, rent these films periodically, and uh, there was one store. I guess they were I guess they were closing down or just getting getting rid of some of their overstock, and they had a bunch of like big box tapes for sale. And I came across Headless Eyes. This film, and this is what initially got me into collecting. And I looked at the box art, and I fell in love with it. It was just. Incredible. Sorry about the uh, about the reflection. I have it in a case, and uh, the lighting is horrible up here. But uh, everything about this, uh, from like a sixteen year old kid or whatever, uh, looking at the too gory for the silver screen, seeing the eyeball, um, the back art with the the eyeball plucked out, <laughs> the severed head, uh, just just how crazy it looked. Um, you like, I don't know. It's it's hard to explain, but you just have to imagine. A kid at that time, growing up uh, in the late '80s, early '90s, uh, where once again the internet didn't truly exist, and uh, you weren't used to seeing these kinds of things. So when I when I brought that tape up to the counter and I tried to buy it, the clerk wouldn't sell it to me. He asked for my ID. I said I didn't have a driver's license, and then that was it. And then uh, there was basically a primitive fire that was <laughs> fueled from that point. So um, as we go through this, you're, you're definitely going to see, if you if you follow my channel and look at some of my collection, you'll definitely see what's inspired a bunch of the pieces in my collection. Uh, maybe a lot of, maybe not lesser known pieces, but uh, not like super exposed horror films. Just, just things I grew up with that I truly love. So let's just do a quick walkthrough. Uh, I'm talking way too fucking much, and uh, hey, I hope you guys enjoy the, uh, enjoy the video collection as much as you like the horror collection. All right, so I'm just going to kind of do like a, a quick tier walkthrough. Um, any questions or comments, leave them down below. Uh, I think anything from here that's going to stand out the most is most likely the Faces of Death. Uh, that was a huge one in the 90s. It was the, uh, uh, the Satanic Panic, a little bit past that. Parents were fearing that. They were basically rented back in the porn rooms. You had to walk into the back room, and if uh, your kids don't know what that was... Uh, that was basically where internet porn did not exist. Uh, there was a back room with either a curtain or swinging doors, and that's where all the dirty, filthy, beautiful material was. So <laughs> your your faces of death were all back there. Uh, pretty tame by today's standards. The majority of that would be would have been staged, but uh, it definitely caused a huge scene back then. Uh, the traces of death, however, however, was uh, was real death scenes, and that stuff was brutal. Um, Pretty cool collection, though. Uh, everything is placed to real death metal, like heavy bands. Um, 
wouldn't recommend it for the light of heart, but definitely really cool stuff to check out. Um, just going down. I mean, there's just it's just too much to talk about. This is a this is a shelf of a lot of like um, a lot of I don't want to say like super rare stuff, but like things I decided I should put in cases. Uh, Driller Killer. Um, this video of violence is a uh, reproduction, so it's obviously not the original. It's not worth even a quarter as much as the original. But the reason I wanted this, and I still do not have an original, is that it was filmed um, about a mile away from my house. I used to go to that video store as a kid. So um, I do have some history with the original film. I just don't own an original copy yet, unfortunately. Pieces is a classic. Burning Moon uh, is... If anybody is into German splatter, um, Olaf Ittenbach does some great stuff that is definitely, definitely worth checking out. Sorry, I had to, I had to pause there because my cat is doing whatever she does. Uh, I also have layers behind layers on these. Uh, a bunch of Todd Sheet stuff, Killer Workout. I have uh, Cannibal Holocaust, a really pretty rare VHS copy. Three on a meat hook, which is one of my favorites. Microwave Massacre. I've never seen uh, the Rhino, anybody else with that release. It actually has a battery where you press the button and uh, the front lights up. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. I'm going down another one. I remember, I remember Cemetery. Oh, okay. You okay? You want your screen time? You good? All right, go ahead. So... Cemetery Man, I do remember, was uh, was a big one back in the late '90s. Uh, it seems like the like the value and the uh, the call for it has dropped a lot. But I mean, if anybody that hasn't seen it, uh, they they probably should. It's it's a great movie. It's awesome. Inhumanities is uh, basically kind of like another Faces of Death. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Family Portrait. You can see a couple Texas Chainsaw releases below that. The Family Portrait is one I picked up uh, in the 90s just because that's my favorite film, and that was the making of. So it's actually really cool. <clears throat> it was really cool to see that before the internet really existed and to see how it was filmed, all the shit they went through. Uh, definitely a worthwhile watch. I'm sure it's on YouTube now if you do want to check that out. See, going down, uh, you'll see a lot of 90 schlock stuff in here. A lot of, like, really shitty ones I bought. Um, Tombs of the Blind Dead and Return of the Blind Dead, or the entire Blind Dead series. That is my favorite uh, horror series besides Texas Chainsaw, so. But, yeah, just, just a bunch of uh, schlocky stuff. The Frighteners with Michael J. Fox, man. Awesome, awesome, awesome movie. Uh, super underrated. People Under the Stairs, I believe, is being remade now by Jordan Peele. Uh, fuck him. That's gonna suck, because that's all he does is remakes and just fucking stealing people's shit. But. And then, uh, walking over here, this is the, uh, the DVD, uh, mixture of VHS, some Blu-ray stuff scattered in. Uh, this is, it's, it's really hard, like I'm saying, to film, because I have layers and layers of films. Uh, I need to get a separate room with shelving split up. I've never done it. I really should because I have over like three, four thousand films. It's ridiculous. But this is basically a lot of the splatter and like the really hard to find like um, just, I don't know, even like Japanese or the death stuff. Just some really crazy stuff. Uh, even like the Charles Manson uh, court cases, other serial killers, just uh, the court interviews. Changeling, uh, yeah, not rare at all, but definitely my favorite ghost story of all time. Uh, that is the greatest ghost story ever put on film. So if anybody likes that kind of stuff, check that out. Just, just so much weird, random stuff. And like I said, if you ever have any questions or whatever, this is just like a really quick walkthrough because uh, I've never really done it on my collection I always post pictures and shit on Instagram or Reddit, but I kind of wanted to just give a little bit more. Just another uh, small stack over in this corner. VHS. 
Kolchak, I'm, uh, I've been, I put these in the box. I've been meaning to watch these recently, so I kind of separated them. I'll be jumping into that again soon. And like, like I said, like, uh, my, my, uh, DVD collection is just whatever. I don't upkeep this as much as my VHS. Uh, the DVD stuff was a very short lived era where I would buy them when the uh, video stores were going out. Uh, maybe some were given to me from friends and stuff, but VHS, these ones down here, obviously where you could see a lot of the, uh, the cut cases. And, uh, this was definitely the stuff when, um. The stores were closing in like the early 2000s, late 90s, and I just went there and would drive around for hours every day and just buy as much as I can. So yeah, I don't want to take too much with this video. I just want to do like a very quick walkthrough just so you guys get the basic idea of what I'm working with, um, how many ridiculous films I've collected over the years. Um, and I, I really wish I had the space to display everything alphabetized and... Uh, show everything off but there's just way too much bullshit at this point it's like like i said 28 years of collecting movies um and like the unbelievable thing is i've actually watched every single one in my collection it's uh i can't believe i've wasted that much that time in my life <laughs> so and bug once again come on so yeah uh anything else anybody wants to see or hear about leave a comment a question down below uh i know there's just no way possible for me in like this really short time to get to everything just just way too many movies way too many layers in this stuff uh like i said i've been collecting for so long i don't even know what's in the collection anymore but the crazy thing is i have actually watched every single movie in here so i could i could peel these back and there would be two layers of dvds deep and just weird stuff man and like honestly i don't even know what i have anymore <laughs> i just don't i I think I know my VHS more than anything else because uh, the the DVD section doesn't really get touched too much. I uh, I usually watch my VHS tapes more than anything. So, uh, hey, um, I appreciate it once again. Thank you for checking everything out. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this was something different than uh, seeing my horror busts and stuff. Um, hopefully, you could see some of the love behind the pieces I collect, where it came from, uh, a little bit of the history behind it. And uh, hey, once again, thank you so much for watching my video.